This looked real awesome when it rolled out. It's, it's not bad. It's a screw top whiskey. It says I.W. Harper on it. But the thing with this, you got to take these. Even new modern marbles. That's a just a standard cap. There's tons of tin caps here that are saveable. Tin cap on this is cleaned up with even common new marbles in it. It's a quick sell at $12 in any, any antique store. And you couldn't sell this bottle otherwise. And the marbles ain't, you could fill this with marbles for, modern marbles for way a dollar. <laughs> Some of this stuff's cool. Look at this little brush. Maybe for a baby, there's more parts to whatever it is. You can see it made of plastic. All up to here, this layer looks great. But they've been making Colgate for a long time. Well, I'm going to move to where I found that Donald Duck toy and stuff, but I'm moving around these pieces of concrete. Now, this marble come from down there, but I reached in and got it. It looks like a yellow cat eye. Probably a marble king. See if it's okay condition. Nope, it's all messed up. See, it's all melted. Some of them are in this spot. I'll see if any, a few come out here in a few minutes, and if they don't, I'll get down there. Later. Man, I'm glad I put my hand up here. Well, I'm caving this down like this, and look here. Oh, no. Man, that sucked. It's right in here. Where'd it go? That's what happens when you mess around. I'll get it. I found it. Man, that's a shame. Right here. It looks like a Marble King Christmas color one. Let's hope it's nice. This will look great in that frame. It is nice. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, that's decent. Well, this marble looked real good, dirty, but see the big dings on it? Clear through the veneer into the white of the marble. That's pretty though, huh? Look at the big speck of adventuring right there. All messed up. See right there? Clear through to the white under the veneer, busted. That's a shame. Later. You know, now we're talking. I have some pieces just like this. Japan. These are nice. They're little kids like cups, but they might not even be little kids. They just, they're nice. Little scenes on them, cobalt blue. That's perfect. All right. Later. Back down to where I found that Donald Duck toy look. It's like school supplies. There's Elmer's glue. But look here. That looks pretty good. It's just a cat eye, but it looks like a caged one. Oh, that's just super nice. That's a 1960s marble, and this one's probably 1965 to 1968. I can kind of tell by looking at these. That's a vitro agate caged cat eye, but that's a beauty. It's wet, man. Hopefully there's a whole bag right here, and I can get like 20 of these in here. That'd be nice. I'll get back. Well, here's this last cage cat eye. That's pretty spectacular. Just the condition for coming out of the ground. And these are pretty. There you can see it. Look at it. Cage cat eye made by Vitro Agate in Parkersburg, West Virginia. Look at that right there. Wow. That's beautiful. Happy to find that. Later. Well, I just put on a video earlier today where yesterday, right in the same area. I found one of these, a classic Marble King Bumblebee. Let's hope it's nice. Uh, it looks just like that last one, but better. Oh, it's beautiful. Let me wipe it off. This is awesome. Later. Well, this one's wet mint. It's got black, real nice purple and yellow. It's beautiful. Well, this is only the third one of these I found in several months. This is only the third one going in that frame, but that is a beauty. Purple going into gray, black. That's nice. Later. Well, these are awesome. They have them on video and they came out right together. Look how good this stuff's preserved. Chase and Sanborn coffee. There's Look at some of this stuff. IGA, that's... A metal can. It's sheltered in here, but look here. I got somebody's false teeth. You know, holy bottoms and tops. The whole set right there. Somebody probably died and they got thrown away or they accidentally got thrown away. How creepy and morbid is that? 
Oh man, that's cool, but people want this kind of stuff. You'd be surprised. These are worth a little bit. This stuff's so preserved. Look at the toys. I might take that too. You could do something with that. Look at this. With the lid on it. A ball atlas or a atlas mason. But that's crazy. That these are crazy for my fine shell phone. Huh? <laughs> well, I'm in here. Here's some of my funds from that exact dump and look there in the mix there's the teeth look at them take you down through here but look at there's the teeth but look at all the little plastic toys man i gotta frame some of this stuff up the good stuff and get oh i got so much stuff fixed later another one here out of this rust layer see what we got it looks like some kind of orange cat eye pretty nice yeah, that ain't bad. Nice condition. <laughs> well, this one doesn't fluoresce. Some of these orange ones do, but that's really nice condition. You know, calm and marble, but that's going to make the frame. That's beautiful. Later. Here's one of the coolest glass candy containers I've ever found, but it's busted. It's an airplane. It says Army Bomber. It's a bomber. Man, that's... That you know, I picked this one up. I thought it was just a blue marble, but it's not a solid color one. Look at this. Here's a pretty nice one. It's smaller than average size. I moved up the hill further. There's a thick layer in here. Look at this swirl. Now look at this. Look at that big patch of darker blue. Oh, that's nice. That's beautiful. Actually, swirls on that. That's nice. That's another good one for the frame. Later. Well, I've dug in this area before, and I'm kind of hitting an undug area, I can tell. This one just blew right out of that rust. It's another cat eye. It's pretty nice. It's a blue one. I'd say it's a marble king, but look, that's nice. It's got like, yeah, it's nice. Later. Well, here's that cat eye from the last clip here kind of looks like metal with darker blue tips like metallic that's kind of nice with bubbles in it it's common you know this is nothing spectacular but you can see it's two color it's an odd one later you know i found these before this one's messed up just enough it's called upper 10 this one says cincinnati ohio knee high beverage company of cincinnati later. Right. i got another little car from my fine shelf I love finding these little things. I have a big variety of them. The last one was a station wagon. This one says Chevrolet on it. Might be an Impala or something. Like that. Looks kind of like an Impala. Alright, this Chevrolet is an Impala. I was right, Impala. And MPC is not Mark's. It's Model Products Company. They made lots of stuff like this. And they made models. You can look it up. And this one, I just found this one recently in the same place. It's a Nash Rambler. Pretty cool, huh? These aren't bad. Later. Here's another very good find. That's a glass reflector. It's old. All there. That's desirable. Later. All right, it's the next day after these first series of dump clips. Look at this. These are ACL 7-Ups. They're just everywhere. There's thousands of them. I could pick up a thousand of them today in perfect condition on this dump. I'm looking for marbles though. You can see how much trash and there's just bottles everywhere. And they go deep here. But this is all 40s to 60s trash mostly. I'm gonna go down this way. I can go way down in there and have a, a chance at straight sided cokes and all that older stuff. but. It's just not as good for a channel. It's just not. I've already found street-sided cakes and Pepsis and Crocs. These marbles are what's doing it for me. I'll get back. I'm gonna look all around in here. This area right here is good. I think I could find some stuff right here and possibly some real good stuff. Older marbles. See, there's a Canada Dry that's a real weird cheap bottle. There's an RC sticking out. Look at that. That's that's nice enough to take. It's aqua glass, a 1960s RC, all there. So it has to be worth a few dollars. There's thousands of them here. Well, that's awesome, isn't it? But the top's missing. 
but I'm still going to take it, the metal car body, and make a rat rod out of it for my fine shelf. I can put a guy in that, and that can all be, that's an old metal toy. It's worth something to somebody, for sure. But There's another doorknob. I find so many of them. I mean, I find one every trip. I'm not kidding. Every time. I knew what that is. I knew what it was from this. I even set it up here on my bag. That's a very old paperweight. And it would have had a picture. If that would have been whole, I would have taken it and not been messed up. That probably had some picture in it. It would have been nice. That's old. It's old glass. It's over 100 years old. That would have been nice. But get to see this milk glass bottle I see it a lot but I've never seen it with the cap and it's a rubber ball cap take that because it has the cap it's cool Later. I don't know that I've ever seen this Ohio windshield wiper or washer concentrate that can be cleaned up Later. yeah there's a little plastic toy whistle it says uh, I think it says made in Hong Kong that's cool though so I'm in a totally new spot. You can see there's washers in here, but I got a marble and look at all these toys coming out of here. I've been moving around. Now I got multiple places to dig. There's an old doll. Look at this metal jewelry box. The lid's gone that's got damage. Here's another baby doll head. And it looks like I got a marble king here. Maybe it's something else. I don't know. It's right here. It's either a marble king or a vetro. I'm in like 60s trash. That looks like a vetro. It's got orange on both poles. They're usually two different colors. That's a vetro. Man, that's a unique, nice one. That's nice. Later. Well, here's this marble from the last clip. Real nice condition. This is the only, well, I found another cat eye this trip, but it's real late in the day. I had to take my dog to the the dog trimmers and stuff, but I got one out of there and all them toys. Not many, but that's a unique one. Huh? Later. I doubt this is what this is, but look, this just come out. If there's marbles in this, I'm gonna crap my pants. It sounds like it, but I seriously doubt it. Let's see. Nope. I was gonna say, if that's marbles, it's pieces to it. What kind of thermos is this? It says stuff on it. Oh no. Man, imagine if marbles would have been in that. I probably wouldn't even have shared it. No one would have believed it. Yeah, here's a cool old... Yeah, it still works. Still an auto band rubber band gun from the 1960s i bet you a lot of you guys had these later <laughs> well that's a real desirable piece of blue and white enamel wear down in the ground it's like a chamber pot but it's just got enough i'll get it out of there and show you that's a shame isn't it man it's almost like a spit tune that's awesome yeah look at this this could be cleaned up enough to take it's filled with mud it's just got a little damage later. All right, this is 1958 Orange Crush. I'm going to take that and clean it up. I don't find many of these. That's a nice looking bottle. That will all clean up perfect. Looks like it's little children's teacup week. There's another one. Probably Japan. It's got a different design on it than the last one. Japan. Look at this. I'm going to have one heck of a collection. And I looked at last one I found in this video. Look, it's got flowers on it. I have another one just like it. Okay. All right, this is why I go dig in 1940s and 1960s trash. It's the golden age of vintage marbles. This is the big Riker frame I'm working on. And lots of you will probably ask, these are called Riker frames. R-I-K-E-R -E frame or case or mount, Riker mount. You can find them on Amazon. They're great for displaying airheads or any kind of collectibles. But I got lots of nice ones in this frame from here over the past few trips. Um, and here's some other ones just from this year. This is why I go. Found all these cat eyes in one, like basically one trip. Got into a big pocket of them where they were all dumped together. March of this year. There's January to March. Just a huge variety of just look at them. And then you come down here. Here's April and May. I did real good. Look at all of these beauties. Look at that. 
all this year and I'll have this frame We'll be working on that in future videos and so make sure you subscribe. It's hard to tell what I'm gonna find. Later.